A girl turned monster out to save the world is the center of the new DreamWorks animations Monsters vs. Aliens. On her wedding day, Susan is clobbered by a meteor that turns her 49 feet tall. She is placed in a government compound where she discovers she is not the only one like this. When the world is attacked, the president realizes only the mutants have a chance to save the world. I'm hyperventilating. Does anybody have a giant paper bag? Reese Witherspoon, a mother herself, admits she wanted to be part of the movie that won't make her sick and tired after watching it over and over again. You know, being a mom, I have to watch these movies like over and over and over again. So, uh, being part of one that has great humor for grown-ups, great humor for kids, has great themes in it, messages for children is like the most you could hope for in an animated film. So, I'm really happy to be a part of this one. For comedian Seth Rogen, it was crucial to portray a funny character. It was just, it's just a funny character, you know. He's has no brain. That that's funny, can relate to that. Uh, has a good attitude, I like that. Uh, it was just, it was just, it was easy, it was a lot of fun. Kiefer Sutherland explains why those DreamWorks animated movies are so good. Well, I think they spend so much time on the story. Uh, for instance, this story specifically, uh, even though it's designed for young people and it's telling them that it's all right to be different and that not only that is it all right to be different, but that one thing that makes you awkward about being different might be your greatest asset. That's an unbelievably powerful message. Uh, and I think it applies to all people, let alone young people. And as always with the big studio animated movies, Monsters vs. Aliens has a dream cast of voices including Reese Witherspoon, Seth Rogen, Kiefer Sutherland and Renee Zellweger. From Hollywood, I'm Ron Jacobson.